The Prowlers are an alternative to the alternative rock scene. You can expect to hear high energy, straight ahead classic rock and roll, along with blues, jazz, and hard rock influences. You might be surprised. You'll also hear some new and exciting sounds in addition to traditional rock and roll influences. Live shows feature high-powered output with plenty of spontaneous improvisation and lots of fun. The Prowlers perform regularly in and around the Chicago area. As stated, the Prowlers mix blues, classic rock, piano bar music, and so forth to create a very original sound. While the band will always do covers and pay tribute to a whole host of musicians, the Prowlers are most proud of their original music they have written and performed. The Prowler's creative process for developing songs varies. Sometimes the band is just jamming and actually develops a tune for a song by just letting the music flow. This is alternative rock for the sophisticated, educated mind. The Prowler's music is a true celebration of rock, blues, jazz, etc. Today we have the pleasure of joining the Prowlers at one of their awesome live concerts. This time they rocked down the house on Saturday, June 21st, 2008 at Escape Grillworks Bar in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. This five-piece band kicked some serious butt in Buffalo Grove. I had the extreme pleasure of being asked by the Prowlers to introduce the band to the crowd, a task I was happy to fulfill. Well, I'm back, and now we're here at Escape in Buffalo Grove. I'm with a great band, the Prowlers, and I have four of the Prowlers. And first of all, why don't we have everyone introduce themselves and tell us what instrument you play, or either singer or whatever. Andy, drummer. I'm Tony, the guitar player. I am Roger. I'm Roger, the bass player. I'm Chris, the uh, lead singer. Okay, and uh, tell us, this is a great band. We've been hearing all your great music. It's a blend of jazz, blues, good old rock and roll. You have a lot of original music, a lot of cover music. And first of all, tell us about the history of the band. Who would like to answer that question, how this band all was formed? Oh, uh, yeah, well, we've been together for quite a long time, Tony and me. Uh, he's playing guitar, played the bass. We've been putting it together for 10 years now and longer. I used to be roommates at one point, but uh, you know, now I'm married and stuff that things happen. So uh, we move on. Meanwhile, we uh, just keep putting out new originals and keep working on new stuff because uh, what you gonna do, sit on the couch all night, eh? All right, and Chris, we understand now you're the primary vocalist. So Roger, you do a couple of numbers, but uh, you're primarily the vocalist. You're doing the covers, the original music then? Right. Um, I think I hooked up with these guys, and I heard some of their stuff and loved it, so um, came over and we started recording. So it was it worked out pretty well. So far, so good anyways. Right. And, and Tony, we understand that now you're the lead guitarist, and uh, you have all the different uh, music that you perform. And tell us about uh, you were really smoking there, huh? Yeah, you know... Uh I, I love playing the clubs, and uh, we got a great rhythm section now. We got the best drummer on the planet, Andy Venecamp here, and uh, 
and, and Roger playing the bass. And so when those guys get a groove going, um, I just feel it. And then at that point, I don't really think about what I'm doing. It's just like, go for it, you know, just rip as hard as you can. It's, that's, that's what I try to do, you know. Right. And we understand now as a drummer, great job there playing kind of the more softer beats, harder beats. So I have to commend you doing a great job keeping that beat there. Well, thank you very much. I just uh, grew with the rest of the guys. You know, we uh, we bring it down. We all feed off each other musically, and that's how it works. You know, nobody's above everybody else. You know, we just roll with it. Right. And as we understand that you guys do, or you know, have a lot of great covers, but also original music. And would any of you like to tell us about some original music that you, uh, Roger, some of the songs you've written a couple, and Tony, you've written a couple. Oh, well, we have this one called Story of My Life. We just played it a few minutes ago. Uh, it's just a rocking number, but the original part is you asking a girl out on a date, and she kind of hem and haws, and then finally says no. You keep asking her, eventually says yes, and then she changes her mind and says no again. You get all frustrated. And so I wrote this song, Story of My Life. It's all about, you know, frustration it's what it is you know you keep trying you keep trying you do changes you try to improve yourself you know get a haircut lose some weight whatever you do you know and it doesn't always get you what you want right off you got to keep pushing right and Tony we understand that you're a songwriter as well and any songs that you'd like to mention um, well hands of misery is uh, one of my favorites because that's uh, one of three songs that Roger and I collaborated on I wrote the music and Roger wrote the words and the song is about a Stephen King book called Misery and there's also a movie called Misery out there so it's uh, that was actually the last song of our, our first set. Right and would anyone like to mention any of the covers or your favorite covers? Chris would you like to talk about maybe some of the covers you really enjoy doing? Um, kind of as a child of the 90s uh, the Pearl Jam and uh, STP songs I really like doing but then we go back to just that raw blues where you have the Clapton songs that we do and things like that, that um, or the Stevie Ray Vaughns are always good. Um, those are probably my favorites. information on the Prowlers, please visit their awesome website at www.prowlers-music.com.